Summer was imminent, and Frog, Bernard, and Pup had yet to find a job. They searched high and low, but to no avail. To their surprise, they discovered a wonderful organization that was willing to take them on as interns, despite their extensive criminal record. The internship put them to hard work, demanding that they eat plenty of delicious Anna's burritos. But by the second week, Frog found herself in dire need of... What's the word? Ah, uh, yes. Entertainment. If not entertainment, then just a little excitement. Self-discovery. Or just caffeine. After speaking with their boss, Kristen, of course, the three interns, by that point the best of friends, took off on an adventure into the damp wild of Alston, armed with umbrella and an insatiable desire for coffee and sweets from Angora Cafe. But traveling posed some difficulties. The first 15 minutes of their journey were spent carefully navigating the treacherous stairwell, which was riddled with small puddles of water and other frightening obstacles. Nevertheless, the trio persevered. Once they had successfully reached the bottom of the stairs, the three friends discovered an interesting device. Frog suggested that they hijack the peculiar vehicle and use it for air travel, but the wiser Bernard, the only literate of the three, discouraged this proposal. Instead, Frog deviously endeavored to <clears throat> borrow a bicycle belonging to someone in their office. But try as they might, the friends could not make the enormous contraption mobilize. The friends thought long and hard. Giving up was not an option. They must legally or illegally, morally or immorally, reach Angora Cafe before their 30-minute lunch break came to its end. Choosing their hunger over the law, the trio resolved to steal a car. They had all the drive of the most desirous and greedy criminals. But try as they might, thoughtful as they were, desperate as they grew, it seemed the car criminal life was not for them. As Bernard began to settle into the depths of despair, he suddenly got a funny feeling. Indeed, a uniform and aviator-clad officer had been watching them the entire time. Pointing what Bernard later assured his friends was a sophisticated water gun, the officer demanded that the trio step away from the car and kindly step into his vehicle. As Bernard and Pup already had at least 23 unpaid parking tickets each, they fled the scene and were soon followed by Frog, who they later were told had been on the run for several decades after lying under oath that she was, in fact, a toad. As the three feared further run-ins with the law, they resolved to make their way to the exalted Angora Cafe by foot. They climbed over trees, they navigated seemingly inconquerable technical obstacles, and walked along deathly precipices. They even tried mailing themselves across the street. They took on extra jobs to pay for cab fare. They even abided by traffic laws. It seemed they would never reach their destination when... They finally reached their destination, the wonderful Angora Cafe. Exhausted, Bernard lolled in the comforts afforded by the heavenly eating establishment. Frog immediately found the cheapest item on the menu and jumped, so to speak, at the opportunity. Together, the friends devoured the economical treat. Ah, on to the next course, but what to choose? They briefly entertained the idea of eating fruit. In the end, however, they decided they were more worried about their calcium intake and their carbohydrate deficit. When they decided to indulge in some coffee, Bernard assured them all that he had read multiple studies proving caffeine's positive effects on physical and mental health. So soon, the feast was finished. And so it seemed was Pup. Stuffed with the delicious frozen yogurt, she collapsed, exhausted and regretful after her indulgence marathon. One might say that Bernard was transformed by the experience. At first, it seemed that Frog was faring well in comparison to her fellow interns. But alas, she too could barely make herself sit up after the incredible meal. Needless to say, the friends had had enough entertainment for one day. They hobbled back out into the bright summer sunshine. 
and made their way back to the girls' leap office. Their insatiable hunger transformed into vows to never go back to the illustrious Angora Cafe again.